And before we offer salah, there's a call for prayer. And different religions have different way of calling people. For example, the Jews, they use the trumpet. It's mentioned in the book of Numbers, chapter number 10, verse number 1, 2, and 3. The Lord spake to Moses, peace be upon him, and told him to build two trumpets of silver and use it to call the assembly. The Christians, they use a church bell. Some tribes, they use a drum. But we Muslims, we use the human voice. And this is called as the Adhan. And the person who gives the Adhan is called as a Madhan. And the human voice, it is far more melodious and soothing compared to the drums, the church bells, and the trumpets. And it has a greater impact on the human mind. There are many non-Muslims who have accepted Islam just by hearing the Adhan. It had such a great impact on their minds that they accepted Islam. But unfortunately, in Bombay, the Adhans, they are not as melodious. They cause inconvenience rather than tranquility. So I would request the Muazzin in Bombay that they should listen to the Adhan of Masjid haram in Makkah. That is an example of how an Adhan should be like. And besides the Adhan being melodious and soothing, it carries a message. But many of the non-Muslims, they do not understand the message of the Adhan. Many non-Muslims say that, you know, Emperor Akbar, he built so many monuments for the Muslims and during the time of the Mughals, no one of the Muslims, they mention his name in the Adhan five times a day. Some may think it's just a joke, but many of the non-Muslims, they think like this. And many of the non-Muslims, in the Western movies, there is a person who's dressed up in the Arab gown, who's a terrorist, who's a villain, and before he draws out a sword, he shouts, Allahu Akbar, as if Allahu Akbar is a war cry. So many non-Muslims did not understand the message of the Adhan. We need to explain to the non-Muslims. We need to give the translation of the Adhan to the non-Muslims. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. We are not praising Emperor Akbar, or it is not a war cry, but we are saying that Allah is the greatest. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the servant and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hayya ala salah, come to prayer. Hayya ala al-falah, come to success. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. La ilaha illallah. There is no one worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should explain the translation of the Adhan to the non-Muslims, to those who are unaware of it. In fact, the Adhan can be considered as a sign of unity. Any Muslim from any part of the world, from any nationality, from any country, when he hears the Adhan, he knows that it is time to pray. In fact, the Adhan read in Arabic can be considered as an international anthem of the Muslims.